Antron Brown having a little bit of a problem in the pits. They do get the car fixed, though. Antron, what was going on back there that got you out here so late? Just a little precautions. You know, Brian and Mark and the rest of the boys and uh, Tony, our clutch guy, they went over some stuff and they found some stuff that they we've been having problems with and I just wanted to straighten it out. So uh, they got it straight this morning. It's at the last minute where they caught it. So it's a good thing, man. And uh, hopefully it makes a difference in this run. And we're just going to take it and see what we can go at with it, man. We're pumped up, amped up. It's four wide. It's time to get it on. And I'm ready. Antron Brown. Here's our next group of four. There is no sight quite like that. That is really amazing to see each of them come out for their burnouts. And as they bring him back, it will be Doug Foley, Doug Herbert, Tony Schumacher, and Steve Torrance. Tony Schumacher has been incredibly fast. Tony Schumacher out of the lane. Joyce and he's taking lane number three. As you take a look at Doug Foley. Doug Foley, remember, he ran very well in Gainesville. Had a, had a good shot at getting to the final round before his parachutes deployed. He's number 10 qualifier here. Had a best of a 386. Doug Foley now racing at what he considers his home track here at ZMAX. Last race at Gainesville, lost in round two. There's local guy Doug Herbert. Herbert ran three races last season. In his first race of 2010 here a year ago, he made it to the final group. And you're on board with uh, Tony Schumacher. You look at uh, two round one losses in the last 76 races. That's pretty amazing. And he has a very good car. He's your number two qualifier coming in here and made three very good passes down the track. And racing with the uh, United States Army Reserve on the car this weekend. Steve Torrance, hey, happy birthday, Steve. It's his 28th birthday and his 42nd race day start. He's got a good race car and he brought interstate batteries in for this race. Everybody's pre-staged. Now it's about go time. Well, that totally wow. went away for Herbert and Foley. I mean, we're getting different results here. It's Torrance and Tony Schumacher who will advance to the second round of those two. It was Tony Schumacher that was the quickest. I tell you, as you go on board, you're going to see Doug Herbert and leg go up and smoke it almost immediately. Doug Foley shortly after that, but I'll tell you that the Army Reserve car has not had hardly any problems this weekend. One, one session, they stumbled a little bit, but boy, it's been on a rail. And look at Steve Torrance. He keeps getting better and better. He's been looking awfully good this weekend. <laughs> oh, look at the fans along the fence. Yeah. And you're right at that fence. You're right there. And that 32,000 horsepower is pumping just a few feet away. 